Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a haul. I've been collecting a few bits and bobs over the past couple of weeks so I thought I'd show you what I've picked up and it's mainly kind of autumn and winter stuff. So yeah, I'm a bit out of breath because I've just ran down the stairs so <laughs> if you're wondering why I can't breathe. Um, and I've got my little buddy over here. I don't know if you can see her or not. She's just having a little snooze and... Yeah, I don't know whether you've seen her in a video yet, but this is Poppy. She's 16 weeks old. And she's a little bit of a terror, as puppies are, but she's quiet for now. So let's get this video done quickly before she starts causing havoc again. So the first thing that I got is this dress from Warehouse. So this is the dress and it was £36. And yeah, it's just black and it's got these like flute sleeves and I love like the floral pattern which is quite, the colours are quite autumnal. And yeah, it's just like a skater style dress I guess. And then on the back it's got this little cut out detail here which I thought was really cute. Then from River Island I got myself some jeans these are called the molly jeggings um i guess they are kind of jegging material because they're really um really super stretchy and really comfortable um but they're just like normal jeans they've got the zip and the button on here and yeah they're just plain black jeans and i tend to struggle to find jeans that fit me properly um i have quite wide hips and a big bum um, but then my legs are not so big, so to get them to fit everywhere is quite a challenge. But these are really comfortable. I always find that jeans kind of stop um, riding down and I'm constantly trying to pull them back up. Um, but these don't do that. These are really comfortable. And they are reduced at the minute. I think they are £25. So if you're looking for some comfortable skinny jeans, then it's definitely worth checking those out. And then from ASOS, I got myself some new dungarees. Um, I did have some Topshop black dungarees and I sold them recently because they were just so uncomfortable. The denim on them was really stiff and even just bending down in them was really uncomfortable. So I've been on the lookout for some more that are a little bit more... Um, comfortable and I found these Dr. Denim ones so they're just just basic black dungarees and yeah and then you just kind of roll them up at the bottom and they were £65 which I guess is not particularly cheap but I think it's really hard to find a decent pair of dungarees and these the denim is so soft and it's I don't, I don't know how to describe it but it's it's just really kind of um, it's just not stiff at all so I'm really pleased with those also from ASOS I got some boots I actually ordered three pairs of boots um, because I couldn't decide which ones I liked and I wanted to try them all on and see what they look like on and how comfortable they were um, I did post a picture on my Instagram and asked for people's opinions and it was just such a mixed bag. Um, everybody liked different ones so in the end I went for the ones that I thought would be comfortable and would match with everything really. So I went for these Chelsea boots in this oxblood colour and these, they're from ASOS but they, the brand is Faith and um, yeah, I just thought they were a classic Chelsea boot that will go with anything, but a little bit different with the Oxblood colour. And they were £45, and they are genuine leather. The only thing that I would say is I wore them yesterday for the first time, and I now have blisters on the back of my feet. Um, hopefully that's just because I need to get used to wearing them and break them in a little bit. Uh, fingers crossed they get more comfortable but yeah it was pretty painful yesterday but other than that they're really soft 
And then I ordered a few bits from Very. And the first thing I got, I'm not sure about, um, mainly because of the price. I do like it, I really like it. Um, I just couldn't resist it. But it was £50, which I think is a little bit steep. It's, it is Levi's, so I guess it's going to be good quality. And yeah, it kind of comes up sort of high-waisted-ish. And I just think that that would look really cool with some black tights, probably my black converse. And I thought it would look quite cool with like a long black cardigan over the top. And yeah, it's just the price that's putting me off because £50 for a skirt is a lot of money. And I don't tend to pay that much money for clothing. I know the dungarees were quite expensive. That's probably like my limit for one piece of clothing but a good quality pair of dungarees is hard to find. Next I got a faux leather jacket um, again this is from Berry but the brand is River Island and I am so so pleased with this jacket it's so comfortable I just love the style of it and this was should have been £60 but was reduced to £50 I believe so I don't think that that's too bad for a fur leather jacket for a decent quality one. I did have one last year which was from H&M but I have put a little bit of weight on and it was a little bit tight around my arms and then especially when you've got like a jumper or something on underneath it was just too tight so gone for a bigger size now and I'm just so pleased with it. Finally from Very, I saw this top and although it is just a t-shirt and maybe not weather appropriate at the moment I just couldn't resist it because look at it it's got tassels on it and it's just so cute and this is £18 and the next few things are from George at Asda and I got this jumper. I love the bright red colour. And it was £16. And my favourite part is the sleeves. It's got these big kind of... I don't know what you'd call those kind of sleeves. Like volume sleeves, balloon sleeves. I don't know. But yeah, I just really like them. I also picked up some Christmas bedding while I was there because I always find that George do really nice Christmas bedding or like autumn bedding and it always sells out so I saw this and I thought I'm going to get it now before it sells out so I got this for one of the kids probably going to be for Evie we've already got some Christmas bedding that we'll probably use again this year um, but the kids haven't got any so I wanted to make sure they actually got some this year so this one's for Evie and I'll find a different one for Max I guess so this is single and it was £10 and this is what it looks like and that's the full picture and then I got two coats um, which might seem a little bit excessive but they're so cheap in Asda and they're really nice so I got this red one which was £30 and red's just everywhere at the moment and I really like it so I don't know how well you can see that but it's a red coat would you call it like a pea coat maybe it's got like the big black buttons on there and it's quite it's fairly thick I think with a jumper underneath that will be perfect for the cold winter days and then I also got this one which I think is sold out online but they had loads in my local Asda store so if you like it it's worth having a look because they might have it and it's this checked jacket it's a little bit thinner than the red coat so um, don't know whether I'll wear it in the middle of winter but it'll be fine for a while and that was only £25 and this check pattern seems to be everywhere at the moment and I really like it. I've just done an outfit post with this coat as well so if you want to see what it looks like on, how I styled it, I will link that in the description below and 
that's everything that I got. It's quite a big haul actually, but I don't see me needing to buy much more for autumn and winter. That should just about see me through. So yes, I'll leave everything that I can linked in the description. Thank you very much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Bye!